What's up, everybody? Let me see if I can get this going. Let's see. It smells it smells weird right here. Maybe it's my sweatshirt or something. I don't know what that smell is. All right, uh, let's see, display capture, ooh, ooh, <laughs> all right, um, let's do this, all right, okay, now I can kind of see what's going on here. Fresh here. Ooh. All right, so today I wanted to go through just a couple of uh, the cryptocurrency mining algorithms. As some of you guys know, I've been involved in the crypto world for the last uh, five years or so. And I wanted to go through just a couple of these, um, couple of these algorithms that I've been playing around with, and just give you guys a sense for what's going on. I'm trying to figure out how I can organize this in the background here, so you guys can see it, and you can see me. Let me blow this up. All right. So, what do we have here? We have uh, SHA-256. Some of you probably know this the most from just Bitcoin in general, but um, a lot of other coins fit under this. And what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks is setting up mining rigs. I've been working with a group in uh, Pennsylvania and Kentucky. They're helping me set up quite a few mining rigs, four mining rigs with RX 580, eight gigabyte uh, cards. And each rig has six of those cards, uh, the eight gigabyte ones. So I have four of them getting set up. And it's really pretty fantastic having to learn like trial by fire about all the different types of algorithms. And I got a ton of requests from you guys on Instagram of the past couple weeks as I mentioned that I was going to start with mining and a bunch of people reached out to me and said like hey let's uh, let's talk let's go through all the different algorithms so I figured what better to do it than just fire up the live stream and and start talking about it um, so I want to go through probably the main the main couple ones uh, on NiceHash that's the software that I'm using you guys are probably familiar with it but uh, effectively, NiceHash takes all the different algorithms that you can possibly mine, the most profitable ones each day, and aims your miners towards it. So you mine all these different types of coins using different algorithms like Zcash and X11 and uh, CryptoKnight and stuff like that. And at the end of the each day, it just converts it to Bitcoin. So it's a super easy software to use, uh, especially for newbies like me when it comes to mining. Um, as I said before, I've been mining on and off uh, on one of my previous Instagram posts. It got a lot of attention, one of the reasons why I'm doing this stream, but I've, I've done a lot of attempts at mining, but part of my 2018 New Year's resolution was to pretty much just dive in head first and learn uh, as I go in. <laughs> uh, that's just always kind of been my my mantra just trial by fire so let's go through just a couple uh, a couple of these main ones here let me pull this to the front uh, boom all right so here's what we have the SHA-256 is Bitcoin MasterCoin MasterCoin Namecoin um, and probably the most most relevant one that I wanted to talk about was PureCoin. That one was around big time in 2014 when I was really starting to get into trading. 
um, and pretty pretty much a breakout coin. It's still around, still kind of floating around there. I don't know how many people are mining it, uh, but as I said, if NiceHash determines that it's the most profitable coin that day, then people are going to go after it. Um, let's see what we have. We also have Blake coin. I've never even heard of that. Bytecoin, I have actually mined that back uh, back in the day. And PAC coin, that one is interesting. I saw the day that they launched on Cryptopia, one of the big exchanges based in New Zealand. I saw the day they launched on there, and they actually um, <laughs> they actually put like one sell order in for 350 Bitcoin and just left it and watched like people sit there and buy. It was a really bizarre, <laughs> a bizarre thing to watch because it's just one one sell order. Um, but yeah, it's kind of kind of goofy. Um, all right, next is Script Aurora Coin. I wanted to talk a little bit about how Aurora Aurora Coin. It was like a, a country coin, I believe, for Iceland. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but uh, they wanted to develop a coin for their citizens, kind of as a um, just kind of a, um, a a backup because they were going through some inflation a few years ago, and they all everybody was going to get like ten thousand or something like that. I forgot the exact amount. But what happened was Bitcoin Core or Bitcoin Mafia, uh, as as they're called sometimes, they essentially just took over the network. Um, it could have been a bunch of FUD that came out a few years ago, but um, ultimately they got dominated by miners. Um, and it was unfortunate. I thought it was a cool idea, but um, yeah, it was it was kind of a kind of a bummer. So next up we have. This one, which was game credits, that's actually in the top 100 um, currencies right now. And I'm trying to pull up the chat so I can see all the comments that are coming in. I can see you guys are are commenting, but I need to need to address some of these. Let's see, what we got address some of these. Ooh. All right, so the question is, uh, what do you think about Hashgraph? Hashgraph, uh, I have done a little bit of research on it. One of the, one of the like primary ones that, uh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna pull it up. Hashgraph. All right, Hashgraph is data structure and consensus algorithm. Uh, okay, cool. So, Interesting decentralized technology. I haven't actually done too much research on this, but I do. I remember the main thing that stuck out to me on this was um, the security aspect. The whole privacy coin thing um, is like a, a uber trend. A lot of people are talking about privacy coins um, in the upcoming year as being like one of the the massive mega trends. So this is actually talking about um, just making it uber secure and fair, and I admire that. So yeah, no, great shout out here. This is impressive that uh, Petru Sirija um, really likes this this concept. I do too. I, I like uh, this this hash graph thing. But one of the the different pieces that I, I wanted to go over. Um, was the actual algorithms itself. This seems like an like a whole project. Um, and they have like various things set up here. But yeah, okay, I see. Looks pretty good. Nice shout out. If you guys have any other questions, um, feel free to ping it in the chat. I'll, I'll try to address it as I go through these different algos. But let's see what we got. Um, where <clears throat> all right here we go back to the algorithms all righty we have let's see here 
All right, on the next section here, I kind of want to jump through script just because it's such a, a wide range from Litecoin, Dogecoin, which are super well-known um, currencies. I, I, I want to jump past it kind of just because it's not, it's not necessarily the ones that I'm focusing on to learn, and I want you guys to learn with me. Uh, that's kind of my intention here. So, you know, your red coin, I have 80,000 red coin, love them. Uh, Litecoin, I've been involved with them since 2013, love it. Dogecoin, I remember I played played a ping pong game for the equivalent of $10,000 worth of Dogecoin back in 2014, which is obscene to think about now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, moving on. <laughs> moving on to the next one. Vertcoin is... One of my favorite kind of underlying beasts in the industry, a lot of people talk about it a lot, um, and it's very undervalued in my opinion, but a lot of miners always always talk about it, and I've been just deep diving into the mining community, so it's, it's definitely worth checking out. Down to X11, so X11 was actually my first or one of my first like big, big, bold investments. So X11 coin, if anyone is watching this um, knows about X11 coin, shoot me a DM on Instagram because <laughs> this by far was my gateway drug into altcoins. Um, back in 2014, I want to say around June or July, I dove in into altcoins and... I needed to pay rent, so I took like everything that I had and threw it at X11 coin when it was like in maybe the top top 200 coins, and it skyrocketed up to like number 15 or 11, and I 100xed my investment and took it out to pay rent, and then it just vanished. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what happened to it, but. This was such a good example. Uh, I use that still to this day. I talk to people about X11 coin and not many people will remember it uh, because it was just such a quick, um, a quick like jump that happened. And it was a great project. Uh, I enjoyed it along with like pink coin. And I think that's still around actually in feather coin, but X11 is definitely still around going strong. I am involved in Dash. I really like their concept. And they are something, you know, as I said before, nice hash is mining the most profitable things each day. And I think that, um, you know, if, it, if it's mining the most profitable things each day, I'm hitting Dash every single day and supporting their transactions through through the mining rig. So I definitely believe that each day I'm, I'm helping Dash and I'm helping um, a lot of other of these coins going through but ultimately x11 has a deep place in my heart <laughs> just because of x11 coin um yeah so moving on we have x13 and x15 i do not know about x15 coin that just i just remember x11 that's an interesting one i might have to do some more research on that later but uh amber coin i remember that i invested in them a while ago um yeah that's actually a really interesting one, Amber Coin. I remember that, and Cloak Coin, basically like a Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin Dark kind of competitor, where it was the way before its time. Actually, if you think about it, I mean, with this Uber trend coming up this year, um, yeah, I think that anonymous transactions and privacy coins are going to be a big, a big trend. Now we go down to. Neoscript. Feathercoin uh, was a big investment of mine back in 2014. Love it. Uh, still around, still kind of trucking along. I don't believe that I'm doing anything in Neoscript at the moment. Uh, the main ones that I'm doing are um, CryptoNight and X11 Script and uh, Zcash are the main ones and obviously eth um hash that's that's kind of like the one of the gold standards now at this point for mining because ethereum is the most profitable if not ethereum classic and ethereum are the most profitable to mine so i have a feeling that most of nice hash's mining power for newbies like me is just directing right towards um right towards it so 
let's just jump right down to that. Uh, the Ethereum Classic and Ethereum. I have thought about just putting one of the four miners, uh, mining rigs that I have set up pointed towards Ethereum Classic. Um, just because if you go to sites like What to Mine, um, which is a really great resource actually, if you guys ever check that out, it's um, basically it, it breaks down everything that you need to project how how soon you make your money back. So, for example, um, I'll pull it up right now, but it's uh, you put in like the mega hash that you're trying to receive and you're trying to get to, and it brings you to this like um, just massive massive repository of all the different coins that you can use. If you look right here, you'll see that uh, you have your X11 Ghost, your Kryptonite, um, your Equihash, and all the different types of, of algorithms that you'll be going through. Like for example, what I'm at right now is 720 mega hash. Um, So we can calculate that and it will show, actually no, we need to go into the actual currency itself. So for example, with Ethereum Classic, where are you, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, we may have already passed it. Um, Caesar. Uh, Ethereum Classic. All right, we will do just for the sake of time. We'll do regular Ethereum and get that on here. Get that on deck. For some reason I can't even find it. <laughs> All right, so since it's not going to be on there, on the home page, which is very random, um, we'll do Z Classic. Why not? And you get your hash rate, you get your exchange rate, and you get your power that you input so that you can monitor exactly how much your costs are. And let's say you're doing a thousand hash rates and your hardware to get that is going to cost you probably about 10,000. You can calculate exactly when you, um, actually, no, that's completely wrong here. Let's do just guessing and checking basically with this. All right. So let's say $10,000 on your rigs and 10,000 in hash rate for Z Classic. It's gonna bring you to break even at 110 days. Um, you create one Bitcoin in 127 days, which is pretty cool. And about 32K a year. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to touch on again was the concept of, um, where are we? Here we go. We're back. So um, the last one that I wanted to go over was the, um, the Monacoin and Vertcoin is under Lira to our EV2. So this is basically the, how do I describe it? Um, yeah, it's, it's essentially a whole nother mining algorithm that I'm not even touching, but a lot of people have recommended that I do more research into. Um, and if you guys know anything about it, feel free to comment um, about it. But in my personal opinion, I think that using something like NiceHash to convert everything to Bitcoin for me, and I'm pointing my rigs towards um, towards NiceHash, 
that type of simplicity is worth it. I know that they take a fee each each time that they cash out, but ultimately, um, if I were to aim two of my rigs at the um, let's say ETH uh, ET hash or ETH hash, however you want to however you want to say it, if I were to aim it at them, um, the amount of time spent moving it to a different currency, like if I wanted to shift to just script instead, um, it's not as effective as just doing something that, if, if you're not constantly researching which ones are most profitable, nice hash is super, super easy. Um, super easy and very, 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 very straightforward, especially for someone that's new to it like me. So based on everybody's kind of requests on going through these top scripts. I'm really, really interested in continuing on, you know, my education route with mining, showing you guys what's going on, definitely showing you guys the rigs eventually uh, so we can get through uh, that and you guys get a chance to just kind of see, see what's going on um, behind the scenes because with with nice hash converting everything on its own it gets kind of you get kind of blind and you can't really tell uh <laughs> who's how it's actually working and i think that an important piece for me in learning is figuring out all right this is what the motherboard piece component is this is what each card is this is how much each card costs this is the roi how fast it's made back and ultimately my goal here is to be as, as transparent as possible so that you guys get a chance to check it out. You can get a chance to maybe even buy your own rig and set it up because ultimately this is for passive long-term income and everything that I'm making, I'm reinvesting into more rigs. So it's kind of like this compounding effect where if I'm making $100 a day in, in Bitcoin on NiceHash, that's getting reinvested in another card to add to a new rig. And that kind of approach is really scalable. But, you know, if, if you are like under financial constraints of any kind and you need to make, let's say, fiat currency, you can cash it out using NiceHash. Um, and in no way am I doing like any sort of affiliate push for NiceHash yet. I mean, that'd be awesome. But ultimately right now, my strategy is have my four rigs up and running by mid-February, uh, working with these guys, uh, Digital Gold, which are awesome. Love those guys. Uh, if there's anybody here from the chat from Digital Gold, shout them out. Uh, but I really like the fact that we're communicating a lot. We go back and forth and um, great experience so far. I've really enjoyed it. And I, I, as I said at the beginning of the stream, I love the idea of learning by fire. Uh, basically, I've been going through learning every different type of motherboard, every different type of rig that I could set up or work with them to set up. And ultimately, my goal is to have like a, like a, a pretty substantial mine. Um, and the way to do that is through the compounding piece that I was talking about. Like, all right, I'm not going to cash this out. I'm going to reinvest it. Um, and if you keep reinvesting over and over and over again into more cards and more rigs, um, you will eventually get to the point where you can kind of maybe take 20% out and reinvest 80, or you could take 60% out and reinvest 40. You can kind of start to make that decision, uh, once you reach scale and my goal here and a lot of the people that have DM me, <laughs> my my primary goal is to, to reinvest, grow out the mine, and um, just kind of go from there because it's, it's a lot of fun learning this stuff. So last piece that I want to go through is NiceHash itself. Um, and let me see if this works, me pulling it up. Let me swap here. All right. So uh, right now on NiceHash, um, it gives you a really great sort of, um, why isn't this showing? It gives you a really awesome structure of what, uh, 
what you make in a day and your unpaid balance, your stats, and the algos that you're going with. So as I was saying before, um, the different mining algorithms that I'm currently working on are Dagger, Hash, uh, Dagger Hashimoto, uh, Decred, Crypto Knight, Library, Equihash, Pascal, X11 Ghosts, Sia, and Skunk. So those are the ones that um, Equihash, or those are the ones that NiceHash is pointing me towards right now. And they are the most profitable to be mining. And as you can see, I have um, two workers or two, two cards that are currently running. That gets me to um, about, you know, $10 per day here. And that's 0 0.009 Bitcoin about 10, 10 US dollars a day, roughly, uh, with two. And, you know, obviously there's going to be more being set up in the future. I would not, um, wouldn't be going into this without reaching scale quickly. That's kind of my approach to this whole thing. So, um, yeah, I, I love the idea of having, you know, two dozen workers, AKA, uh, workers are actually cards, having them running and, um, you know, getting a few thousand each month. So you guys are going to watch from this stream, having two workers to this being 24 in the next like three weeks or so. So, uh, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and watch as we scale this up. Uh, cause it is, it is going to be a lot of fun just kind of watching in general, these stats. Uh, just because I'm a data nerd to the max. So you can see over the past, um, let's do three days here. And you can see just kind of the amounts and the different levels that it's going up and down. And then this is pretty cool. It says like, all right, this transaction goes into the wallet, um, which I thought was kind of, kind of neat. But yeah, it, here's all the different algorithms on there so it's looks like it's mainly going after um let's see here sia's in there skunk kryptonite seems to be going pretty strong um but dagger hashimoto is really the main one as you can see here uh the purple line that's all focus on dagger hashimoto which is pretty cool um so yeah this is the the kind of overview of how how nice hash works when you're looking through it. Once I get more of the cards hooked up and ready to go with um, digital gold, I think we're gonna I'm gonna do a lot more on what this looks like uh, as we scale it out. But I wanted to do a stream from the very beginning when there's only two cards set up, making ten dollars a day and scaling that to a hundred dollars a day within a month, uh, just so you guys can get a chance to see how quickly this scales. Um, and if you're reinvesting, if you're focusing on growing out the operation, it's, yeah, it's definitely worth, um, worth checking it out for sure. Especially nice hash, just given all these algos can be mined at the exact same w with ease. Like I don't, I don't have to go in and change and aim towards certain algorithms and cash it into Bitcoin. Like I don't have to do any of that with nice hash. It's just very seamless and essentially just plug and play. Like you're, you're just watching it, um, mine the most profitable coin at that time, um, and converting it on its own. So very, very cool software. I enjoy it. Um, I think if you guys are new to mining, it's worth, um, worth checking out. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more effort on learning more about each one of these algorithms, figuring out why it's the most profitable, if it's worth investing outside of mining. Like for example, SIA, I invested, uh, outside of it because they launched, um, their ASIC miner this past week or people started getting it this past week. Sorry. And when people start getting into mining a new coin, that is like a really good indicator of the fact that it's supported. Um, and knowing that there's support there is pretty, pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, I really, 
I really like the idea of this being an indication of a successful community. Like each one of these different algorithms representing a coin that's supported by miners and everybody's trying to mine the most profitable coin. Um, so I really like the idea behind using this as like a, not necessarily an investment strategy because this is by far the, the furthest thing away from financial advice that you could get. But I do think that this is a good indication of a community that's interested in, um, yeah, in, in investing outside of mining. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the, the quick overview of these different um, algorithms and how I'm getting started. As you guys can subscribe and watch this journey, just because so many people have recommended that I do videos on this throughout the progress. Um, and just this alone, this screen is going to change from 2 to, to 24 very, very quickly. And I want to be sure to document everything so you guys can watch. Uh, by no means am I any kind of professional investor uh, or any type of like guru. I'm basically just learning in tandem with, uh, you know, trial by fire, which is, which is how I do this. So you can watch me do the reinvesting. Feel free to leave comments on this, this video if you guys want to see more of these and watch me go through. Um, I'm excited to kind of share the journey as I go through learning and um, plugging into NiceHash and, and sharing more. But yeah, that does it for this stream. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Slap a like on here and subscribe to watch more. But I'll see you guys on the next one.